Call Allah, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Raka Kodash. Shalom to my hopeful elect elder brother over here at my congregation, Sharayad. Shalom to all the hopeful elect elders out there of the Israelite nation who rule well. Namely, the hopeful elect elder apostles over at the Great Millstone Church. As always, peace and many blessings be to all you hopeful elect men out there of the Israelite nation who are diligently laboring, bringing forth the true doctrine of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, namely the hopeful elect brothers that I personally labor with. And likewise, peace and many blessings be as well to the rest of all the true believers out there of the Israelite nation, the rest of the one third. This is the book of Proverbs chapter five and verse one. My son, attend unto my wisdom. And before we dive all into this, this message, this lesson is specifically to the elect of the Israelite nation, the one third of the Israelites, the Israelites today being known as so-called black people, the so-called Negro, so-called Latinos and so-called Native American and Seminole Indian people who are scattered amongst the earth. You are all in fact God's chosen people. And once again, this message is to the elect of our nation. Proverbs 5 and 1, my son, attend unto my wisdom. And namely, speaking to the men, the men of the Israelite nation out there who are set up in the order to, to teach. You know, we are to understand the knowledge, wisdom of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. You know, we teach our household, our wives, our children, and this becomes a perpetual knowledge amongst our nation when we're actually doing so according to these scriptures. So the admonishment here is my son attend unto my wisdom. And the wisdom that we are to attend to is the wisdom of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. That's why it says my wisdom, because there's many different wisdoms that are of the world that we are not to attend to. We are to attend unto the wisdom of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, which we find through understanding the true doctrine of the Bible, of these scriptures. And obtaining that knowledge and the furtherance of going forth to apply what we know in our everyday lives, our walks. Because these scriptures are for us to be able to live life accordingly. You know, it's not just to learn and just know in your head. It's to be applied to your life, your walk, your day by day. So to attend, my son, attend. You'll go into the word attend in the Google. Attend. It says be present at an event, meeting, or function. So off top in my mind, when I hear the word attend, I think of school a school situation and when you think of school one of the first things that go on in the morning at school is the teacher that is there usually takes attendance and attendance is just proving of the students that are to be available who's actually showing up who's actually attending because school is a place that is set up that you are to go and to learn that's the actual concept of school so to attend is to be what? In attendance, to be present, to actually be there, to learn. Number two here says to deal with. So let's hop back to the scripture. So my son, attend unto my wisdom. We have to be present in this thing. Being present is to be in the current, in the now. So you are always to be dealing with the wisdom of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Thus, again, in your everyday walk your everyday life and it says and bow thine ear to my understanding which is just a furtherance of you attending unto the wisdom you bowing your ear your ear is your spiritual mouth it's the way that you intake words you intake words through hearing but also through reading but you bowing your ear to 
this understanding is you being in attendance, being available, presently being at to, to be dealing with understanding this wisdom, attending to it, simply put. And um, before we move forward, it's a word that came to mind, just truant. So it's another word that, you know, in my mind, instantly makes me think of a school setting. Um, at school, for students who don't show up, and if they don't show up for so many days, they're always absent. It's um, sometimes they get a truant or a truancy officer, uh, a person who checks up on them on their daily to make sure that they're actually showing up to school. So to be truant, when you read into it, it says a student, once again, the school setting, a student, one who should be attending, you know, school to what, gain that learning. It says a student who stays out of school without permission. So one who's not attending school, simply put. And number two, is really a point I want to get. I highlight it. It says a person who neglects his or her duty. So one who is neglecting their duty. And through the scriptures, we understand what our true duty is. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. It reads, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So once again, it's just dealing with hearing. And hearing is truly just dealing with understanding. So us hearing the conclusion of the whole matter, the whole conclusion of our life, what we ought to be attending to, what we ought to be doing. It says, fear the Heavenly Father. And us fearing the Heavenly Father is us understanding His knowledge and being, bringing it forth and being wise by what? Applying, doing in our every day. It says, and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. So that's what our duty is to be attaining or slack, to be attending to the wisdom of Yahweh Shai. And if we're not attending to it, we're being truant. You're being a person who neglects his or her true duty, which we just read. So let's continue here in the book of Proverbs 5, I'll read through one again. My son, attend unto my wisdom. We're being admonished here. We're being warned. It says, I and bow thine ear to my understanding. Once again, the understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, once, which we find through understanding the scriptures. Verse 2 says that, and this is the reason why we ought to be doing so. It says that thou mayest regard discretion so what is it to regard according to google regard it says consider or think of something or some someone or something in a specified way and that's um pretty heavy because we can't lean on our own understanding when reading the scriptures we have to understand the scriptures according to as the Heavenly Father wants us to understand it according to His doctrine, not according to what we believe it says, but according to what He subscribes as to being what is truly saying. So to regard is to consider or think of someone or something in a specified way. And that specified way is the true doctrine. The next one down says attention to or concern for something. So you're going to give your attention to or concern to something that you're truly actually dealing with. That's how you are actually going to be bowing your ear by showing what attention or a concern. One who's not concerned with school don't show up to school. Thus, they're being truant. But if you're attending to, it's because you have it has your attention and you're concerned with it. Proverbs 5 and 2, that thou mayest regard discretion. So, give your attention to what discretion. We have to go into this word discretion as well. Discretion. It says the quality of behaving. Behaving implying your actions. Once again, you doing. It says or speaking. 
So this is heavy as well because it's going into your actions and also you speaking, which is very important, which is, you know, let's keep on going. The quality of behaving or speaking in such a way as to avoid causing offense, which is major, which is a huge purpose as to why we have to understand wisdom, understand who we are, the reason why we came back to our power forsook the world and came back to reality is so we can learn how to offend offend less. It says, or revealing private information. You know, so discretion is very important upon your well-being and upon your continuance in this truth. Number two says the freedom to decide what should what should be done in a particular situation. And that's um, heavy, too, because we know, according to these scriptures, through much tribulation, we must enter into the kingdom of heaven. So it's going to be much tribulation that is going to come in front of us. And that tribulation is times and situations that we're going to have to be able to get through. Thus, situations we're going to have to use discretion, thus decide what should be done in those particular um, situations that arise. And that's how we are actually going to, as um, according to the scriptures, uh, endure, endure to the end. He who endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Because that's the whole purpose of us understanding and knowing who we are and coming back to this truth. Is us being able to endure to the end. And to be able to get on those ships, man. So we can enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's our whole purpose. That's our whole goal. So discretion is very important. And to be able to regard discretion is the ultimate. So that thou mayest regard discretion and that thy lips may keep knowledge. And what comes out of your lips? The words. Matthew 4 and 4, paraphrasing, man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Heavenly Father. So this is how we are to live. This is why it is so important. Proverbs 5 and 1, My son, attend unto my wisdom, and bow thine ear to my understanding, that thou mayest regard discretion, and that thy lips may keep knowledge. So this is how we're going to actually escape, by doing these things. This is how we're going to be able to endure until the very end by understanding and attending unto the wisdom of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. Shalom.